In this video, we'll look at the type of reaction for CaCl2 plus Na2CO3, calcium chloride plus sodium carbonate. The first thing I can see is that we have an ionic compound here and an ionic compound here. So I'm thinking that the calcium and the sodium, they're going to switch places. That would give us a double replacement reaction. Let's write the charges up here and see how that might look. So we can look on the periodic table and we can see calcium right here. That's in group two. It has a two plus ionic charge. Chlorine over here, one minus. And then sodium, group one, that has a one plus charge. The carbonate, that's not going to be on the periodic table. You should memorize that CO3, the carbonate, that's two minus. So we have our charges, and now we can figure out what might happen. So the calcium here, Ca, that could switch places with the sodium, and now it's going to be bonded to the CO3, calcium carbonate. And we have this 2 plus and the 2 minus, so that's fine. We can just leave it written just as it is. The sodium here, that switches place with the calcium, right? So the sodium, we have NaCl. We said the sodium was positive, the chlorine was negative, so those charges, they're fine too. So this is the unbalanced equation for CaCl2 plus Na2CO3. And we said this is a double displacement reaction. Let's clean this up a bit and talk about the states of each of these substances. We often can assume that these compounds here are going to be aqueous. They're going to be dissolved in water for the reaction to take place. We know that chlorides are often, almost always, aqueous. And then when we have sodium compounds, they're usually aqueous as well. We could look it up on a solubility table, but we're pretty sure this is the case. Sodium chloride, that's also, we have sodium and a chloride, that's going to be aqueous. But the calcium carbonate, we're not sure. So let's take a look on a solubility table and see what state that would be. If we look on the solubility table, we have calcium and then carbonate right here. So I go over and down, I see an I. It's insoluble. That means this is going to be a solid. It's going to be a precipitate. So we call this a double displacement reaction. We could also call it a precipitation reaction because this calcium carbonate, when it's formed, it'll fall to the bottom of the beaker or the test tube as a precipitate, a solid. One last thing, this equation isn't balanced. And to balance it, it looks like if we put a two in front of the NaCl, then that would balance the equation. So this is the type of reaction for CaCl2 plus Na2CO3. It's a double displacement reaction. You can also call it a precipitation reaction. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.